For the first few years of Eddie Lacy's career, the Green Bay Packers were able to pair one of the game's best passers, Aaron Rodgers, with a consistent run game. But once Lacy put on the weight and his production decreased, the Packers were left searching for answers once again. That was, until they selected Aaron Jones in the 2017 NFL Draft. Jones has been one of the top running backs in the league over the past few seasons, but how have the 18 running backs taken before him panned out? First, I'd like to acknowledge that the majority of the people who watch our videos aren't subscribed to the channel. Help us out by subscribing and joining us on our way to 100k because it's coming fast and you don't want to miss your opportunity to enlist in the JD Army. Aaron Luray Jones was born on December 2nd, 1994 in Savannah, Georgia. As a kid, Jones moved around with his parents, living in Kentucky, Tennessee, Virginia, near the Mexican border, and even Germany due to his parents being in the U.S. Army. Jones played high school football in El Paso, Texas at Burgess High School. Jones was a three-star recruit before he committed to play college football at the University of Texas at El Paso. Jones made an immediate impact for the Miners from the moment he put on his uniform. In his collegiate debut against New Mexico, he had 11 carries for 100 127 yards and two rushing touchdowns, and finished his freshman season with 155 carries for 811 rushing yards and four rushing touchdowns. For the rest of his collegiate career, Jones totaled a school record 4,114 yards and 6.3 yards per carry. Jones ranks second all-time in rushing touchdowns at UTEP with 33. After his senior season where he ran for 1,773 yards, Jones declared for the 2017 NFL Draft where the Green Bay Packers scooped him up with the 182nd overall pick in the fifth round. In his first four seasons as a pro, Jones has run for over 700 yards in each of the last three seasons, including two 1,000-yard campaigns in 2019 and 2020. In 2019, Jones led the league in rushing touchdowns with 16 and followed that up in 2020 with a career-high 1,104 rushing yards. In total, over his young career, he has 3,364 yards and 37 touchdowns on 5.2 yards per carry. Talk about finding a diamond in the rough. Jones is a stud, but but how about the 18 running backs taken before him? The Jacksonville Jaguars selected Leonard Fournette with the fourth overall pick at the 2017 NFL Draft after he set a ton of school rushing records at LSU. Since coming into the NFL, Fournette has struggled with inconsistent play and injuries. In 36 games with the Jags, Fournette ran for 2,631 yards and was cut prior to the start of the regular season in 2020. He latched on with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers where he played in 13 games, rushing for 367 yards and six touchdowns, helping the Bucs clinch a spot as a wildcard team in the playoffs. Four picks after the Jags fumbled on their Fournette selection, the Carolina Panthers got it right and selected Christian McCaffrey with the eighth overall pick. He finished second to Derrick Henry in the Heisman voting in 2015 as a sophomore. McCaffrey has turned into one of the NFL's most electric players with his running and pass catching ability. In 2018 and 2019, McCaffrey rushed for over 1,000 yards in both seasons and caught over 100 passes. McCaffrey was selected to the Pro Bowl in 2019 after rushing for nearly 1,400 yards and catching 116 passes passes for 1,005 yards. Injuries did slow him down in 2020 though, but with his new four-year $64 million extension, he'll be back and ready to go for the Panthers in 2021. Two-time Pro Bowler Dalvin Cook fell to the second round of the draft where the Minnesota Vikings scooped him up with the 41st overall pick. In his off-field incidents led to Joe Mixon falling into the second round of the draft, but the Cincinnati Bengals gave Mixon a second chance by selecting him with the 48th overall pick. Mixon was considered a first-round talent heading into the draft and has shown it with his play on and off the field since then. In four seasons, he's run for nearly 3,000 yards even after injuries hampered him in 2017 and 2020. In 2018 and 2019, Mixon ran for a combined 2,305 yards and 13 touchdowns. It's debatable that the New Orleans Saints got the steal of the draft when they selected Alvin Kamara with the 67th pick in the third round. Kamara has done it all in Sean Payton's offense. He's tough to bring down and averages five yards per carry. After the Kansas City Chiefs selected Kareem Hunt from Toledo with the 86th overall pick, he made an immediate impact on the league and led the league in rushing with 1,327 yards in his rookie season. He was on his way towards a second rushing title before a video of him surfaced kicking a woman in the head and the Chiefs ultimately cut Hunt for lying about the incident. Since then, Hunt latched onto the Cleveland Browns, forming an unstoppable duo with Nick Chubb, rushing for 4 yards per carry and 7.8 yards per catch. 
Dante Foreman was selected by the Houston Texans with the 89th overall pick. After rushing for 2,000 yards in his senior year at Texas, Foreman didn't live up to his third round billing, even after a successful rookie season where he averaged 4.2 yards per carry. On his second touchdown carry of the 2017 season, Foreman suffered a torn Achilles and had to sit out most of the 2018 season. After showing up late to meetings and a poor work ethic, the Texans cut Foreman prior to the 2019 season, which he sat out of. He signed with the Tennessee Titans as a member of their practice squad and was later activated to their active roster midway through the season. The Pittsburgh Steelers selected 2018 Pro Bowler James Conner with the 105th pick in the third round. Conner survived lymphoma in college and would unseat Le'Veon Bell as the team's number one running back in the 20th. After rushing for 4,000 yards at Oklahoma, Washington selected Samaje Pirine with the 114th overall pick in the fourth round. As a rookie, Pirine rushed for 603 yards and a touchdown. In 2018, his carries were limited after Adrian Peterson joined the backfield committee that included Chris Thompson and Darius Geis. Pirine only received eight carries and was cut prior to the start of the 2019 season. Since, he's joined the Cincinnati Bengals and Miami Dolphins, rushing for 317 yards and 68 carries. In week 16 of the 2020 season, Piran had a career game where he rushed for 95 yards and two touchdowns on 13 carries against the Texans. 2018 All-Pro Tariq Cohen was taken by the Chicago Bears with the 119th pick in the fourth round. He started at North Carolina A&T, racking up 5,000 yards on the ground. Since entering the league, Cohen has rushed for over 1,000 yards and caught 209 passes for 1,575 yards. In 2018, Cohen accounted for a career-high 1,599 all-purpose yards and scored nine touchdowns, three rushing, five receiving, and one passing, before being named to the Pro Bowl. With the 121st overall pick, the San Francisco 49ers selected Joe Williams. In 2016, Williams retired from football while at Utah to focus on other aspects of life. After he was convinced by those closest to him, he gave football another shot and returned. In his first game back, he set a school record for rushing yards in a single game with 332 against UCLA. He finished the season with 1,407 yards and 10 rushing touchdowns in just nine games, which led to the Niners to select him in the fourth round. Before training camp, ended, he was placed on injured reserve with an ankle injury and was cut by the San Francisco 49ers a year later. He never made an appearance in the NFL and still remains out of the league. Donnell Pumphrey was selected by the Philadelphia Eagles with the 132nd overall pick after setting the all-time record in career rush yards at the collegiate level. The former fourth rounder earned a Super Bowl ring with the team but never saw the field in his rookie season after sustaining an ankle injury. Pumphrey joined the Detroit Lions practice squad and then later joined the Eagles practice squad. He's been out of the NFL since 2018 but was recently the feature back for the DC Defenders in the XFL before it suspended operations this past April. Before the Packers took Aaron Jones, they took took Jamal Williams with the 134th overall pick out of BYU. He ran for nearly 4,000 yards while at BYU, and since joining the Packers, Williams has consistently been the team's top backup at running back. In 60 career games, Williams has run for 1,985 yards and 10 touchdowns and caught 122 passes for 961 yards. Wayne Gallman won the 2017 National Championship with Clemson before being taken with the 140th overall pick by the New York Giants just four months later. Gallman ran for 3,416 yards in three seasons at Clemson, which has translated into some success at the NFL level. Since entering the league, Gallman has rushed for nearly 1,500 yards and nine touchdowns as a career backup. In 2020, Gallman played his best season yet, picking up 682 yards on 147 carries and six touchdowns as he and the Giants battled until the end of the regular season, nearly taking home the division crown in a weak NFC East. Three picks after the Giants took Gallman, the Indianapolis Colts chose to take Marlon Mack with the 143rd overall pick. The former fourth rounder rushed for over 3,600 yards in three years as USF's feature back. Since entering the league, Mack has been a menace at running back, picking up over 2,300 yards on the ground in his first three seasons as a pro. In 2020, however, Mack suffered a torn Achilles in the Colts' first game of the season and was ruled out for the rest of the season. The Atlanta Jeremy McNichols was selected by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with the 100 and 62nd overall pick. McNichols grew his roots alongside former first round pick John Ross in Snoop Dogg's youth football league, earning the name McWeapon. McNichols played at Boise State where he ran for 3,200 yards in three seasons before declaring for the NFL draft. In the pros, he struggled to find regular work as a running back. He bounced around to six different practice squads before the Tennessee Titans gave him a chance on the active roster in 2020. Suiting up for all 
16 games, McNichols carried the ball 47 times for 204 yards, scored his first NFL touchdown, and helped Tennessee clinch the AFC South crown. The Arizona Cardinals selected TJ Logan with the 179th overall pick, just three picks before Aaron Jones would fall to the Packers. Logan rushed for over 2,000 yards during his time in North Carolina. He is still playing with the Cardinals and was the team's primary returner in 2019 before his season ended with a fractured thumb. Arizona held on to Logan until the beginning of the 2019 season where he was waived and later claimed by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. In 2020 though, Logan was placed on injured reserve after suffering a leg injury in training camp. And finally, the Green Bay Packers selected Aaron Jones with the 182nd overall pick. Nothing less than an absolute steal for the Packers, who have clinched the NFC's best record in 2020 with the help of Jones. Thanks for watching. If you love JD Productions, check out JD Hoops, where we recently uploaded our first video. Go subscribe and hit that notification bell, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more JD. We read all of our DMs and love hearing what you have to say.